lie to you. I would not lie to you. If I were a rapper, I would not wear jewelry. I would not get $20,000 worth of plaque. I mean, I did all of this stuff when I was in my 20s. Don't get me wrong. I went through a phase where I had a grill. I had, you know what I mean? I used to get gold fronts and stuff like that. But I was 20, 19, 20, 19 years old, 20. I'm 31 right now. So, you know, my mindset is a little bit different, more mature. But I've never seen this level of rappers die before. And I try to rationalize it by saying, hey, back when I was young, like, growing up from a kid to a teenager, we didn't really know too much about local rappers because the internet was, you know what, well, YouTube was out in 2005, 2006, 2007, but you really didn't have the ability to tap into different geographical areas and see what kind of rap scene they got. You know, you can go, you know, you can pull up anything from any state, but if it's buzzing, it's going to rise to the top. And you're going to be able to, you're going to get recommended or you're going to run across the video. So we're tapped into rappers who aren't even really mainstream yet. You know, more underground, independent artists are, have a lot of visibility because of the internet. So we just, we're just seeing everything. And that's how I used to rationalize it at first by saying, hey, maybe we're seeing everything. Because we have so much access from the internet. Back when we didn't have the internet, we didn't know any of this stuff. But nonetheless, I think this is the most rappers ever to be killed. In, in, in the history of rap. It started with Scott LaRock. He was the first person killed. Then Tupac. Biggie. You know. And it's, it, it really hasn't been much since. Big L. You understand what I'm saying? That's it. And that's like going from the 80s to the 90s. Three people in hip hop that everybody was aware of. Now, every single day a rapper's getting killed. And some people are saying, hey, rap is the most dangerous um, sport. And I'm like, no, it's not, you know. The rappers who are getting killed, if they're not getting killed for, for robberies and stuff like that, they're just victims of robbery, they're getting killed because they're gangbanging and because they're in the streets. And I don't think rap has ever... We got more rappers in the streets right now than ever before. Back in the old days, a rapper might have came from the streets and he's talking about the streets, but all of that is in the past tense. Nowadays, these young boys are really living in the streets, bro. We're watching viral gangbanging. But we just call it rap, you know. And that's the physics, man. That's that's what's real. That's what it is. And and California's turn I be telling people, I'm going to LA and I'm like, yo, California is like Mexico. I actually call it that. I call it uh I, I call it Mexico, baby Mexico. Because that's what it is. You know, California is a deadly place. And when people get get a little bit of money, they want to go out to LA and stunt. And I'm like, man, they got them young, them young gangbangers out there. You got the Spanish gang, the, the Hispanic gang members, the Asian gang members, the Samoan gang members, the black gang members. And they're going to get at you. You don't go out there and stunt. You go out there and be low key, you know, like a tourist. You don't go out there and stunt, man. You put the chains up. Don't do not do that, man, because somebody's going to be watching. California has always jacked famous people. That's, their, that's, that's what's, what it's known for. They had the blessing of living in a state with all these rich people and this entertainment metropolis and all of, these, all of these people are attracted to it and they get to rob them. Sweet licks. California is all, the gangs in Cali have always been known for robberies of famous people. So when you go out there, you got to be prepared, man. You got to be able to tap in with a real OG, somebody who's known throughout the city, throughout the sets with a good reputation. They can keep you good. You understand what I'm saying? So, yeah, man, rest in peace to all these rappers. But, yeah, man, I've never seen this many rappers die before. So, yeah, I think it is a pandemic or epidemic, whatever. Peace.